Well, we've been busy for the last three months up at Parliament and people have been wondering what the hell's going on. We've been busy as all get out. But specifically for the election, we have the tremendous 10. We've got one Senate candidate and the nine and nine uh, contesting seats in the lower house. Let's go through them. Uh, in Queensland, running in the, for a Senate position is Lindsay Temple. In Now, when I say we, let me just back up a fraction. These are not A1 candidates. These are genuine independents. Now, they are A1 supporters. They adhere to A1 principles, aims and objectives and policies, but they are genuine independents. So let's go through. So Lindsay Temple, as I said, is running for a Senate seat in Queensland. Uh, we have four from Victoria. Craig Cole running in the seat of Casey. Dominique Murphy running in the seat of Chisholm. James Laurie running in the seat of Bendigo and Darren Bergworth in the seat of Dunkley. In South Australia, we have three. Madeline Fry, Maddie Fry uh, in the seat of Barker. Vince Pennell also in the seat of Barker and Paul Bussettel in the seat of Boothby. In uh, West Australia, in the seat of Canning, we have Ashley Williams. And the last one uh, running in the seat of Greenway in New South Wales, me, Ricardo Bosey running in that seat. So Bosey in Greenway. So that's the tremendous 10. Now, as I said, these are genuine independents. Now, just something to note here, people are saying, why aren't you registered? Why aren't you registered? And that's been a fair question. And there, there have been mechanical problems in terms of um, the IT, for example, we've had all sorts of problems, but that was largely to do with making sure that our database was secure because we've been under attack since the get-go and we want to make sure your details are um, secure. But another reason was, and as I've been saying many, many times, uh, parties are unconstitutional. They are actually unconstitutional. The Constitution states that the electors, that's you, and don't call yourself voters, this isn't my kitchen rules, this is for the for the governance of the country, the electors must direct their, directly elect their representative. Now, a party interposes themselves between the representative and the people, so it's unconstitutional. So, you know, we, we might have a situation where we have a bunch of unconstitutional people elected because they're part of parties, but that's, that's where the court of disputed returns down the track. 